In this paper, we propose a new method to physically model kinematic movements for simulating realistic scenes in real time. One problem with physically modeling a character from a real time posture captured from the Microsoft Connect is the lack of certain information. To remedy this, a motion database is searched for the most similar pose, which then provides the missing information. In this experiment, we show the most similar pose found when all the available degrees of freedom are used to match the database postures. However, employing all of the available degrees of freedom for the posture matching is computationally costly. Here we apply principal component analysis to reduce the dimensionality of the postures to increase the speed of the searches. By combining the information from the posture in the database, as well as the connect joint positions, we can track the user movement in a physically simulated system. Since the bone length between the two may be different, we retarget the connect posture to the controlled character. In this demo, the user is controlling a character to catch the balls. Notice the character reacts when being hit by the ball and is able to interact with the physically simulated objects. And when the ball gets heavier, the reactive movement becomes more significant. It is possible to replace some degree of freedom with a predefined movement, such as creating a blocking posture with the arms. Here the arms are controlled automatically by the system, while the other parts of the body are controlled by the user. Notice the natural movement when the balls hit the character's arms. In this demo, the character interacts with the boxes by moving them from one place to another. In this instance, the physical simulation allows the boxes to be picked up and stacked. The advantage of physical simulation is that we can simulate complex scenarios. In this experiment, the user is interacting with a large number of boxes. We can also attach objects to the physically simulated character. Here we add a physically simulated mace to the hand of the character and use it to interact with the environment. In this experiment, we show two users' characters interacting with each other in the virtual world.